Hello and welcome to day number 70 of my 100 day self connection experiment where I meditate every day for two hours and then shoot a daily video for you guys just kind of sharing my experiences. So today, uh, <laughs> let's try that again. So today, um, towards the end of my meditation, I was really, you know, towards the end of these two hour meditations, a lot of times, that's when I'm deepest into my space of being, um, deepest into feeling into my expansive, spacious nature. When I feel the most like, um, I have a body rather than I am my body. When I feel the most as if the body is existing inside of what I am rather than me existing inside of the body. It's towards the end of these meditations is when I feel that. And even today I went beyond two hours because what was happening is when I was in this place of just connecting to my spacious nature, I felt the energy, like my energetic subtle body you could say, or source energy or grace, I felt it healing, literally sending healing energy to my uh, left shoulder right here and um, in my lower neck. As you guys know, I've been working way more intensely with the body lately to really activate the, you could call it the living library of light within us. And I, so as I've been activating the body, I've been doing lots of pull-ups and some more intense strengthening Hatha yoga. And so I was experiencing some, uh, experiencing some soreness recently. And I, I could feel in the meditation how there was just this flood of healing energy or just like this soothing energy just vibrating on these on this really sore and tender spots in my upper shoulder and neck. And it really got me th thinking what I want to share with you guys, what I, what I really feel for all of us right now is where are we experiencing all of these intense, en intense energies from? Um, they're so the ascension energies right now are so refined and so, um, what's the word? They're so strong. They're, the light right now, that is, it feels like it's, like light is beaming down on all of us right now. And especially for us, everyone's feeling it in their own ways. Um, some people are having intense grief and confusion and anger and you know like just grumpiness because their old belief structures and patterns are falling so it can almost feel like some people around you are just like their spirits are breaking in a way but this is just a sign of surrender happening but for us light workers we can feel this energy and it can be really exciting right it can feel um it can feel at times like we're having these huge crown chakra activations and we're coming like these huge downloads or we're receiving huge downloads. We're starting to feel the like the texture of the earth changing of our we, we can feel like our consciousness shifting. Like one like yesterday as I was driving to this small town um, that I live nearby, I was watching these birds just they were flying next to me as I was driving and they were looking over me, at me and I was looking at them. And it was like for a moment, I like felt what they were feeling. And it felt like they were almost wanting to see what I was feeling. And it was, this sounds crazy to say, but this is what, this is what I experienced. And I experienced kind of the oneness of our movement and of our, like our connection. And I was like feeling what the bird was feeling for a moment, just like, it was just so beautiful and I was like, what world am I living in right now? I was like, this is for sure New Earth. And just like you can, this the way um, I perceive sound now, it's like certain sounds of animals and certain really good music, it just bypasses my ears and goes right to my soul, you know? And it's so much with how I am perceiving like nature now too. It's like almost bypassing the everyday, like the vision and just piercing right into the soul of like, I'm just feeling everything in a new way. Even memory, like I was trying to talk about in my last video is so much more alive and filled with so much more love of, of certain re old relationships or 
times that I usually would remember as a difficult time and would bring up pain now bring up so much of this clarifying gratitude and appreciation. And so there's so many beautiful things happening on earth right now with these hiring vibrations and frequencies that are helping us to, to know that we, it is all one and that we are in 5D right now and that new earth is here. But on the other side of this, all this light can really shine a light on our unresolved karma. And if we've got some stuff that we're working through, and we all do, of course, sometimes we can get really ungrounded. Like this light coming in, the crown chakra, third eye openings, it can leave us feeling really ungrounded and our mind momentum can pick up really fast. And we can start having like rapid thoughts, almost uncontrollable thoughts. Um, and it can leave us in a place of like this really high, like I was like really high mind momentum of just a lot of thoughts. And, and we can be really feeling like indecisive at times and confused and not sure what to do. And that's what the end of my meditation, what I felt really inspired to really share with you guys and ask you guys is where are you experiencing these heightened energies from? While it can be exciting to experience them in the mind, sure. Are we allowing these energies to come down, to sink into our bodies and to integrate deeply? Are we being anchors for this energy? You know, are we allowing it to anchor into earth through our bodies? And one, one thing you'll notice if you're spending a lot of too much time in your mind when these energies, these high vibration, high frequency, very refined energies are coming into earth, one thing that you'll notice is you're getting very indecisive, confused, rapid thinking, um, worry, um, and just, you know, feeling very ungrounded. So it's so important to try to come into the body as much as possible to connect with Gaia, with the earth as much as possible. Yesterday, I was starting to feel really ungrounded and I was going through this. I was having so many thoughts. Sometimes they were like really excited thoughts about the future and how great life is. And <laughs> you know, it's just like, Phew. and then sometimes they would get really negative and I'd be like, whoa, like old karma surfacing, old arguments with like imaginary arguments with people I have karma with. <laughs> and that happened a little bit in the meditation today too. That's normal. I call that karma land. <laughs> so that was happening. And then I realized, okay, I'm spending, I'm, I'm going, I'm experiencing these intense ascension energies, these new earth energies too much in my mind. So beautifully timed. It's, it's like time to start planting seeds, right? For gardening. So I just got my hands in the dirt yesterday and was working in the garden. And I felt that was so helpful to really, help these energies ground down into the body. And, and Gaia was there just helping me feel more grounded. And, and another thing that's so, um, that's been really helping me that I actually have to do like a shout out to the channel Atmo. I hope I said that right. I hope it's the right name, ATMO. Um, I'll put a link in the description box so I make sure I get it right. But she was talking about like plants and and how they're telepathic. And she was pointing out all this scientific research that was showing how they were telepathic. And I kind of knew that somewhere in me, but yesterday after I discovered that, or maybe it was two days ago, I started sending so much love to my plants. I started making sure they got way more sunlight. I started saying, um, like she said to do, I love you when watering them. And I just started like really cultivating more of a relationship with them and just sending my plants so much more love. And now I feel like I'm receiving so much more love and like this really peaceful grounding energy from them. And it just goes to show the more love you give, the more you receive. And so plants are another beautiful way to help really stabilize all these ascension energies. So if you don't have a garden, 
um, that's okay. Uh, maybe some indoor plants or just getting out barefoot in the grass, in the dirt, even in the mud is great. Um, you don't have to be barefoot. Maybe just go kind of hang out under a tree, sit in the grass. You know, if you've got a beach nearby, wow, aren't you lucky? <laughs> Walk on the beach if you can. Um, but it's just really important to come into the body as much as possible when we have these really high frequency energies coming in. And the last point I want to leave you with is who's running the show? Like, is your... Is your guilt and fear patterns dragging your body around all day? Doing things that your body doesn't want to do just because you feel this sense of guilt. Like, I should be doing this. I should be doing that. And then you're just exhausting the body. When right now, the body needs rest more than ever because of all the integration that's happening. All the work your body's doing, it needs rest. I'll give you an example from my own self. This morning, I woke up at my usual time. I like to get up early. I like to do my meditation, do some yoga, get some lemon water in me, get outside, say hi to the cats, you know, um, just get my day going. Um, and I, like, I just like getting up early. But this morning, I, I got up early and I just didn't feel rested at all. And I could feel that my body needed to sleep in. But my mind was like, no, we've got to get up. We've got these things to do. We're on a schedule. We're on a routine. And I could tell that my mind was willing to, it was trying to persuade me to drag my tired body out of bed, even though that's not what my body was asking for. And I had to ask myself, what is trying to move me out of bed right now? Is, it, is, this, is getting out of bed right now something someone who loves themselves would do? Or is getting out of bed right now just falling into an old program that says we should get up early because we should do that. You know what I mean? Like this old, you can almost guilt yourself into doing things that your body doesn't want you to do. No, you can't almost. You can. <laughs> you can totally guilt yourself into doing things your body doesn't want you to, to do. Doesn't want you to do. And it's interesting how like there was just a little bit of guilt creeping up in me that, that said like you can't, you shouldn't sleep in. I was like, where did this come from that I can't sleep in when I need to? And so I just let go of that. I fell into my body and I let the intelligence of my body, I let the intelligence of my heart guide me. I did what, some, some, I did what someone who loves themselves would do. And I fell back into a deep restorative sleep for like another two hours. I let myself sleep in, get a bit get a little bit of a later start to the day, but that's okay because I feel restored now and my day feels like it's going to be so much more fulfilled with health and vitality and joy and just, you know, like that sense of like more just connection because I'm listening to the intelligence of my body. I'm allowing this ascension process to happen through my body. And so that is one thing I want to ask you guys. Are we are we allowing the conditioned mind to drag around a tired body? Or are we letting go of those old patterns and stories of should and shouldn't and guilt and all of that nonsense? And are we, are we connecting with the intelligence of the body? And are we doing what someone who loves themselves would do in every moment, in every single moment? There's no exceptions. You can go through your whole day and just as an experiment, today, tomorrow, a week. How about the rest of your life? <laughs> Just do what, do what someone who loves themselves would do. And so, yeah, that's, uh, I feel like I covered a lot of what I wanted to say today. Um, if you're feeling kind of crazy up here, you know, it's normal. Lots of energies here. It's very exciting. I know sometimes, yeah, why not go up into the crown? <laughs> Have the expansive moments, sure, it's part of the process. But when things start getting frantic and haywire and thought storms are coming and you're feeling out of control and indecisive and confused, come into the body. Find the intelligence of the body. Connect with the body. Connect with Gaia. Send love to your plants, to your animals, to yourself. And... Um, Day 70. 
Wow. Loving this process so much. I'm not on day 70, but I feel like I'm really just getting started with all this, <laughs> this whole process. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you all so much. Take care of yourselves. Love yourselves. Get as much rest as you can. So much energy right now. Rest, rest, rest. Relax and trust. Namaste.